Hey everyone, it's Big Z, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. So in the last episode, we took on a big bad bossy boo, and we unlocked a new ability that allows us to double jump. Um, and for this episode, I think I mostly want to go on a shopping spree. Not gonna lie, it's time we treat ourselves. <laughs> I mostly want to, you know, get some new charms, because the easiest way I know to get new notches is to have a certain amount of charms, and then a seller will give you more notches. Um, like, you have to pay for them, but at the same time, I can't remember how many charms you need to unlock the new notches. Um, so with that being said, I think we're just gonna head up to Dirtmouth, see what charms are up there, then we'll head to Forgotten Crossroads, see what charms are there, and we'll get some more notches. Really, I just want more notches. A corpse in white armor. Yep. And if we dream nail him, whoops. Mm, nothing. Like, I knew nothing was going to happen, but if you've never seen the game before, I didn't want people to be upset and be like, what are you doing? You can obviously dream nail them. They have dream catchers around them. Um, but to be honest, I don't know how to unlock them. Like, I thought maybe it was like a something that you came back to after you finished the main storyline, after you finished the final boss, and they were supposed to be like a super boss. Um, but at the same time, like, even then, I finished the game, and I still can't unlock them. And I started a new game, and I thought maybe it would be new game plus stuff. Uh, but still nothing. Where have you gone, dear king? I do not know. Maybe he's just really good at hide-and-go-seek. <laughs> he, like, found a spot and he was like, They'll never find me here. He didn't know how right he was in saying that. Okay. Hi, bud. You ready to go to Dirt Mouth? Uh-huh. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll head up there, because I can't remember what charms Sly has. I should know by now, but I don't remember. Um, and then, like I said, we'll go to Forgotten Crossroads. I'm hoping the person at Forgotten Crossroads has the Quick Slash charm. Because um, that one comes in handy. Like, that became one of my favorites in, like, my personal save. Like, that, the Balder Shell, the Thorns of Agony, and uh, a charm that you get from the Grub Dad later on once you find enough Grub Babies. Um, like, those are some of my favorites, so once we have all those, I will be a happy camper. Hi, Sly. Uh-huh. Um, I mean, we need you, but we don't need you, so I think I may wait on that. Then what do these do again? Let's you run around quickly and tirelessly. Let's you recover after taking damage. The other one just lets you knock people back, which is, like, handy. But at the same time, like, it's only when, like, you're on really tricky platforms and stuff like that. So I'm going to pass on those for now. A young couple just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems like they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. Hmm, quite. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given that they're all empty. But they like the look of that one. It's quaint and cozy. The way she has to bend just to get through the door. I wouldn't put up with it myself. Neither would I, Elderbug. What are you really thinking about? To descend into that ruin. Why? Things are so much simpler up here. I agree with you. But sometimes, like, simplicity is key. But sometimes it, it's more fun to, I don't know, go on little adventures. Ho wink. Um, okay. So now we have the map for the resting grounds. How much is this going to be? 330? I think we can spare 330. I can't remember how much the first notch is, but I don't think it's that expensive. Okay, so I think what we're going to do now is I'm going to head the wrong way. <laughs> I think we'll take Bud down to Forgotten Crossroads and we'll see what notches are available down there. So I will be right back. Hey, what's up, dude? Oh no, did it happen already? What? I thought that- okay. I thought this didn't unlock until way later. Oh no. No, don't tell me the Forgotten Crossroads- oh god dang it. Eh, pale thing you use. These old lines? Pathetic. A real warrior carries himself to combat. He has no need for such convenience. Okay, Tizo, whatever you say. You should watch My Hero Academia. I'm sure you'll find some of the characters like Bakugo. Uh, very relatable. And this is the part that makes my life a living hell. Is <laughs> like, I don't know. The first time I played the game, I was very used to like coming up to Forgotten Crossroads and being like, ah, oh, yes, it's going to be super fun, chill times because like none of the enemies in this area are that bad. And the game couldn't give us too much uh, 
too much easy ground, I guess. They didn't want to make things too easy. So, of course, the, the Forgotten Crossroads is now the Infected Crossroads. There you go. Ow. What? What? And I repeat, what? Why is it taking so many hits to kill you? I guess because I still haven't upgraded my nail, which is the other thing that we have to do if we have Geo left over. Um, just so much to do and so little time, you know? Have we visited her yet? I don't think we have. I can't remember. Maybe I did it in between episodes. Nope, first time meeting. Ooh, you surprised me. Hello, hello. Come in, sweetling, and make yourself at home. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Did the town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? Mmm, yes. This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. It's been a while, huh? <laughs> it's been a while. You've been, you've been keeping cozy under that rock, haven't you? Hmm, what were we talking about? Oh, yes, charms. Uh, I can see that you've started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own, and you can take one home if you like. I love her. <laughs> I love her so much. Uh, that's the long nail. Yeah, see, she has different notches. Can I get this one? Hell yeah. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Like, you have to get a certain amount of charms, though, before you can unlock other notches. So we need two more. So what do you have? Uh, spellcaster... Makes spells stronger. You'll stay in place. Makes your nail longer. I guess we'll do this one for now. And then what's the next cheapest one? This one? Yeah, so we'll do that one. And then I can have one more charm notch. I just, that's going to drive me insane though. Because like, honestly, uh, that's all we'll do for now. Thank you. Can I dream nail you? I've never dream nailed you before. Dear, dear, I must... I really must hold it together, must appear calm, but this creature is just divine. Are you thinking about eating me? You can't eat me. I may look like a marshmallow, but I am not edible. Just saying. Um, anyways, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move around some notches here. Uh, and then we'll start heading towards the City of Tears and get our nail upgraded. So I'll be right back. Not the smartest tool in the shed, I will admit. Ow! That makes two of us now. That makes two of us being not the smartest tools in the shed. <laughs> like, god dang it. Ah, god dang it. I love how I'm like, what a dumbass, and then immediately spike my own butt. Oh, that's just karma coming back around, boy howdy. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. Ah! I'm getting squished. The timing for that could not have been more perfect. Oh, I thought there were dudes in here, but apparently not. The great gates have been sealed. None shall enter, none shall leave. Did we read that before? I can't remember, but I need to heal. I'm really bad about that, so I apologize, because like whenever I watch people play this game, that drives me insane when people don't heal often enough, because it just it's it gives me anxiety watching them run around with like one health, and they're like, it's fine, really, everything is fine, and I'm like, ah, it's perfectly not fine, no. You need to heal. Call me a little mom. Call me the mom of the group, but I really think you should heal. And then, of course, I go right back around, like I said, and do it myself, where I'm just like, eh, it's fine. I don't need to heal, or I, like, don't even think about it. I don't even attempt to look at my own health. Um, so sorry if I'm giving people, like, anxiety, because I'm, like, down to two health, and they're like, you need to heal. You need to heal now. I understand that feel. I understand that pain of, like, wanting someone to heal before they, like, get dead. And they're like, I don't understand what happened. I don't know how I died. It's crazy. And it's like, well, not really, though, because you never heal. So, I don't know. I am both the person who is guilty of, like, I don't know, backseat gaming, I guess, or being the mom of the group and being like, please heal. Uh, but at the same time, I am also the person who never heals. So, it's a very interesting, uh... I don't know, it's a very interesting line to be walking, but I walk that line. Anyways, we're here! Can you upgrade my nail, please, before I lose my mind? Have you brought me another nail to be honed? Leave it on the ground and return later if you're still breathing. Hmm? Oh, I thought you were someone else. Maybe possibly a hornet? 
I don't know. Anyways, that's that's my I don't know. That's my idea. That's my canon, I guess, as he's talking to Hornet. After a nail smith, are you? Well, you found one. I'm not much for talk, but if it's a nail that needs repair, then you've come to the right bug. Your own nail is in quite a sorry state. Trust me, I know. It's obviously not one of mine. Still, anything can be refined with enough effort and skill, even that broken blade. If you'd like, I can reforge your nail. It'll make the blade far more deadly. Yes, please. Oh, it was only 250? Sweet buggy boy. You're making my day right now. As you wish, I'll get to work then. I love the sound effect that they use for it. Ah, that sound afterwards, that do. I don't know, it sounds really cool. There we go, reforging is complete. I've honed your nail's edge. You'll find it much stronger than it used to be. Head out there and test its strength against your foes. Thank you. So now, we up we upgraded it once. Can I can I take a look see? Can I take a look see at it cuz before it was super broken. But look, it's all nice and in one piece now. <laughs> a traditional weapon of hollow nest restored to lethal form. Do I have another pale ore? Yo, I thought I only had one. Apparently I had two. That's dope. Okay, anyways. <laughs> like, I've started saying that more and more often now. I used to say it ironically, but now it's becoming, like, a normal part of, like, my speech pattern. So, like, the more I say it, I'm like, what have I become? What have I done? What, who am I becoming? Who am I? Um, oh, yeah. One hit and you are down. Just call me one punch bug. Ow. Um, but yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. Um, so I think what I want to do now is I want to head over to the collector and give him some of these things that I've collected so we can get some geo from him. Um, and I may or may not look up the other pale ore areas because we have to get one more and then we can upgrade it again. Uh, and then we have to find three more pale ores and then we can upgrade it to its full ex fullest extent. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we're going to do that all in this episode, but I do want to know where the other pale ore is. Um, so let me do some searching, let me do some looking around, and I will meet you guys at the collectors. Can we open you? A mechanism with a simple keyhole. Use a simple key? Why, yes! Please and thank you. I didn't know it took a simple key, I thought it needed a specific key. My bad, we could have done this a while ago then. I thought there was a specific key for the waterways, but apparently not. Um, okay. Also, I should probably explain. I tried to get to the collector, but the area is blocked off, I guess, and I can't remember how to get around to unlock it. Um, so I guess we'll check out this area for now. And, like, I like this area. It's a fun area. But, uh, not gonna lie, some of the creatures in this area make it, uh, make it a bit of an unfun time. Because they sound disgusting. Um, that and these dudes are literally everywhere. So you have to keep an eye on the ceiling. Um, but there are these creatures. Oh, there it is. I already hear them. Oh, and this is why I don't like this area, because they make these weird, disgusting sounds. They're disgusting. They're like walking buttholes. <laughs> like, like, that's not what upsets me. It's like, I'm, I'm one of those people that, like, I hate the sound of slurping. Like, when people slurp their soup or, like, slurp a drink or they chew with their mouth open. Like, I hate it. I hate that sound. So, like, these guys, like, usually when I come through here, ow, I usually just turn off, oh god, I forgot you did this. Get away, get away. They, like, split into two pieces and both sides attack. Can you figure out what you're doing? Ow. God dang it. Um, so yeah, like, I like this area, I just don't like those creatures because they sound disgusting. They make, like, this weird slurpy noise. And literally everything down here looks like a butthole. <laughs> like a lot of the enemies look like buttholes. But one of the redeeming qualities for this area is this guy. Because he's the boss for this area and he's one of my favorite bosses. Um, so you know what? Let's go say hi. Let's go say hi to this dude because he's a living anime trope and I love him. Are you ready for the fight of your life? Because I don't know if I am. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Oh, I should have I should have found the seat first. I should have found the bench that's down here so I could save down here. But whatever, we're in it. Hopefully I'll be able to get it on my first try. He's not that bad. Also, in case it's not uh in case it's not obvious, this is a whole bunch of faces. Oh, no! 
So, like, just, just if you will, pay attention to the Dung Defender, because to me, he's like a huge anime trope. Like, <laughs> I don't know, something about him seems very anime-ish. What's up, dude? And I love his music. Like, when, his music is some of my favorite. Ow! I am not doing so hot. Come here. Come here, you dangus. You dung dangus. You stinky dung dangus. Don't mind me. I'm just healing. No. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm a sweet little bean. I'm a sweet little marshmallow bean who deserves to be loved and not killed. No, don't do it. Don't do it. You don't want to do it. I know you don't. I know you don't. You're such a great guy. You remind me of All Might. Like, come on. If All Might was covered in shit, dang it. <laughs> Ooh, Akumero, huh? Like, he just sounds like All Might. You can't tell me he doesn't sound like All Might. Again, he is basically the bug version of All Might. And covered in shit. <laughs> and All Might thinks he is the shit. So, I mean, really, it all works out. Where's my dude? I can't see because I don't have a map for this area. God dang it. My dude. My shady bro. Where are you? Don't be down here. Where are you? Oh, come on. Don't, don't be in there, please. I want to go find the bench. I want to go find the bench so I can save and I don't have to make the long trek back every single damn time. And I also forgot to change my charms around. God dang it. Okay. Um, hit. There we go. That worked. We got his attention. Hello, bud. Aw. He was like, I'm going to get you. And I was like, not if I get you first. Okay, real quick. Um, I believe I remember where the bench is. So I want to go over there and save. So we don't, well, rather I. You guys get the glory of, uh, of editing. So you don't have to make the long trek back every time like I do. Um, but I'd prefer to go find a bench real quick, so that way I can just, like, you know, be a hop, skip, and a jump away, as compared to being a hop, skip, jump, hop, skip, jump away. So yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, hey, I found the bench, hallelujah! <laughs> it took forever, but we got there. Which means Cornifer should be nearby, too, if I remember correctly. Because they're both on the, like, leftmost side of the map, so... I don't have the map still. God dang it. I just want the map. And now we're here. We come full circle. Um, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like I wanted to take on the Dung Defender. But now that we're over here and we found the bench, I want to find Cornifer. Because it would be way easier to do all this with a map. Do I hear a baby? I'm not sure if, uh, if that's a baby I hear or a trap. It could be a trap. It might possibly be a trap. Baby, where are you? Possible baby. Where are you? Just keep calling out to me. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not you guys. Who invited you all to this party? I know I didn't. Ooh, I see paper. Cornifer! Where are you? I hear him. My sweet boy. What? Why the epic music? Ow. Why the epic music? Why? Why? Why, game? Why? Oh, why? Oh, I'm making it worse. Oh, no. It's an inflation fetish gone wrong. Someone help me. I love how it has this epic music for, like, fighting all these dudes. It's really not that epic of a fight. <laughs> like, they save the most badass hardcore music for, like, the the puffer fish bugs. And, like, they just kind of bounce around and they're like, oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. They're really not that bad. Did we do it? We did it. Slightly anticlimactic, but still, we did it. Cornifer, baby, talk to me. Give me that sweet map. Ho oh, ho, aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so order orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, uh, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I can sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. Guess I'll be calling this map done. Yes, please. I feel like the maps, depending on what their price are, they're supposed to tell you, like, what order you're supposed to be going in. Um, was there anything else over here? I can't remember. Yes. Yes, there is a thing. Or maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> But yeah, I feel like some of the more expensive maps, it's like, you're not supposed to be here till like, way later. But some of the cheaper maps, it's like, oh yeah, you should have been here by now. Um, but now we have a map for the Royal Waterways, and apparently we've been almost everywhere already. Um, so with that being said, we'll head back to the Dung Defender and give this another go now that I've stayed down here at this bench. 
I have to admit, I'm having a really good time right now. Because, like, it's so hard not to have a good time with this fight. Because he's such, like, he's such a happy character. Like, I don't know, he's not taking the fight too seriously. He's having fun with it. So it's one of those things where it's, like, it's kind of infectious, you know? Like, it's hard not to have a good time, ow, because he's having a good time. It's like trying to be mad when your friends are having a good time. Okay. Look at his little butt tuft. He has, like, a little butt tuft. I never noticed that before. What you doing? What you doing, Dung Defender? Doma, Doma! <laughs> and I love how much he laughs, too. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's one of those things where it's like he's having such a good time, it's infectious. Doma, 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 doma. This fight also reminds me of Ice Age. Like that's that scene with the the dung beetles. Ow. And they're like, "Do we have to carry all this crap? I can't believe we have to carry all this crap." And the 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 female one is like, "Oh, that was a gift from my mother, you asshole." I have to admit, I did not like Ice Age, but that part still makes me giggle like an idiot. There we go. We did it. No, oh, my sweet boy, I'm so sorry. I have to kick your butt. Wait for it. <laughs> he's like Team Rocket blasting off again. Like I said, he's just all of the anime tropes and I love it. Anyways, we have the Defender's Crest. And to be honest, I can't remember what it does. Uh, so let's take a little look-sees. Like for someone who claims to play this game all the time, I can barely remember what most of the charms do. Uh, causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. So it makes us smell bad, and then the bugs will stay away from us. It's like the repel from Pokemon, maybe? I don't know. Um, but either way, we can do this thing now. And that unlocks a whole bunch of acid, or rather it sucks up a whole bunch of acid. That was blocking another area that we need to go to that has a special ability. Or I think it's a charm? I can't remember. I can't remember if it's a charm or an ability. Um, but it allows us to do some pretty cool shit. Um... And to be honest, I can't remember how to get there. Like, I remember that you have to go through... Yeah! So you can see, like, the the pipe there sucking up all the acid. Um, but there's, like, a spike tunnel you have to, like, do the super dash through. Like, the crystal heart ability, you have to use that to get through. Um, but I can't remember... I can't remember where the entrance to it is. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go off and explore and see if I can find it. Uh, and I'll catch up with you guys if I do. So with that being said, I'll be right back. <gasps> Buddy! Did you come out to say hi, finally? I've been trying to get him to come out. <laughs> oh, it's you again. I'm glad to see you return. No, no, please don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks. Yet you bested me in the most majestic knightly fashion. I love him so much. He's such a good sport about the whole thing. Like, it just, it hits home how good of a character that he is. <laughs> such joyful, vigorous combat, I'd almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching Hallowness swell to greatness. And then that nasty business with the affliction. Yeah. I almost forgot. What's on your mind? I almost forgot to check. So there were others. What do you mean? Others like me? I don't know. <laughs> we knights defend against the physical, but a formless enemy. How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way, a cruel means it was, and still eventually we were brought low. Bah, I shouldn't be so morose, you've invigorated me. Tis truly a delight to meet someone whose strength can match my own. Like, I love his character so much, cause he's such a humble dude. And, like, he just fights for the sake of having fun. Like, to him, it's having fun for the sake of having fun. And that, I feel like that's why his his fight in particular is so much fun. Like, I know I said that the Soul Sanctum, the Sanctum Master, or the Soul Master, rather, is, like, one of my favorite fights. But, like, I forgot how much fun his fight is. So, like, I feel like his is my favorite. And, like, I love him as a character because he's so fulfilling because, like... You would expect him to be bitter against the world, because he used to be a knight, he used to have a status, he used to have power, and all that was stripped away from him when Hallowness quite literally went to shit. So you would expect his character to be bitter, because all this stuff was taken away from him. But, like, he still gets to do what he enjoys. Um, so he's still such a happy dude. And, like, to me that speaks volumes about his character, because it shows that, like, 
When he became a knight, he didn't become a knight for the status or the power. He did it because he enjoyed battle. Like, he enjoyed fighting other bugs, and that's the only reason that he did it. So, like, now that he no longer has that title or that power, that doesn't matter to him so long as he can still do, like, he still does what he enjoys. He still fights other bugs. Granted, they're husks now. They're not, like, I don't know. They're not themselves. Um, so it may be different. But, like, hearing him say that, like, our fight reinvigorated him, like, it shows how much fun he has with it. And, like, I don't know. None of it comes from a bad place. So... I don't know. To me, that just speaks volumes about his character. God dang it. I didn't expect him to do that. I thought he was going to dive. Okay. Ow. Ooh, just let me get my soul back. Let me get my soul back. Okay. You guys can kill me now. I don't care. <laughs> um, actually, that's good timing because I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. And in the next episode, we'll see where that tube of acid heads, where it leads to. Um, so yeah, just overall. I forgot how much fun that, that fight was and I forgot how much fun his character is. So that really put me in a good mood, and I hope you guys got something from it as well. I hope it was fun to watch. Um, but like I said, for now I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course I do want to thank you all for watching. And I will see you in our next little adventure. Bye!